So many people in Washington, D.C., Democrats, Republicans, they're applauding President Trump's decision to launch those Tomahawk missiles uh, into Syria. Some lawmakers are calling it, though, impulsive, dangerous, and even unlawful. But is it an act of war? That's how my next guest is characterizing last night's missile launch against the Syrian air base. Democratic Congresswoman Barbara Lee is issuing this demand, quote, she says, if President Trump wants to escalate U.S. involvement in yet another war, he should immediately send a new authorization for use of military force to Congress and Speaker Ryan must bring it to the House floor for debate and vote without delay. Congresswoman Lee uh, is with me now. Nice to see you, Congresswoman. Glad to be with you. You Tell me why you believe this was an act of war. This is an act of war because any time a country uh, bombs uh, a sovereign nation, with uh, no authority, no legal authority, that constitutes an act of war. And here in the United States, first of all, we uh, must insist that members of Congress do their job. And if, in fact, we're going to engage in warfare, we need an authorization and a vote, an up or down vote, because this is our job as members of Congress. And let me say, uh, my goes out uh, to the Syrian people, the use of chemical weapons, that, that's barbaric. We cannot tolerate that. One surgical strike is not going to stop that. And so minimally, we need to get back into Washington, D.C. We need to have a debate, and we need to vote up or down on where we go once we know what the president's plan is. There is one argument to be made that the president had to act quickly uh, because of the atrocities that were committed uh, there in Idlib. I mean, you look back to 2013 when then-President uh, Obama decided to, to go before Congress, as, as you're requesting, you know, before hitting Syria, and he faced so much resistance. He couldn't get a vote. I mean, no one, no one then wanted to own what could be the, the potentially the next Iraq. Uh, how, how would you respond to that? I mean, how, how do you say no? You, you are you know, compassionate for these young lives lost yeah. well, these are very tough decisions but that's why we're elected and that's why the American people should demand that speaker Ryan call for a debate and an authorization you know for many years many of us have called for an increase uh, in our numbers uh, in terms of refugees the president uh, is putting a ban on refugees from Syria but so those contradictions are very apparent one surgical strike is not going to stop these barbaric acts and so we need to have a full plan it has to be international in scope we have to work with the United Nations and other international bodies to really come up with a political solution we need to address issues as it relates to Russia and its complicity with uh, you know, Assad and how they are conducting this this horrific um, damage and carnage in uh, Syria. And so the only way we can come up with a plan for a political settlement, settlement, excuse me, with the United States involved is through a debate in Congress and a vote. The American people deserve that. I understand. And, you know, when you listen back to when I final interviews with, with at the time when he was still in the White House with President Obama, you know, he talked about how it was Syria, which was the, the, the main issue that really, really haunted him. And again, this is the kind of, this is a strike that has received praise from your John McCain's and Lindsey Graham's all the way, you know, on the other side of the spectrum to Hillary Clinton. Now, let me just play some sound from what she said speaking at the Women of the World Summit in New York when she was asked about Syria. I really believe that we should have and still should um, take out his airfields and prevent him from being able to use them to bomb innocent people and drop sarin gas on them. She said that before the world learned what the White House had done. Do you, Congresswoman Lee, can, do you give President Trump any credit for, for having the guts to do something that President Obama couldn't quite bring himself to do? I don't think it's about having guts. I think one surgical strike is not going to stop Assad from using chemical weapons, nor is it going to stop him from wreaking havoc on the Syrian people. What we need to do, and I will say this again, is come together with the international community and the United Nations and come up with a comprehensive strategy because it's only a political solution that's going to address this. Most but, military but we've experts been waiting will for that, tell you and have said that there's no... Pardon? We've been waiting for that, I'm for sorry. the people to come together. Well, we have to insist. 
yes, we have to insist on that. And that's why we're asking Speaker Ryan to at least call us back into Washington, D.C., put forth an authorization to use force and vote up or down. And that way the public will understand the costs and the consequences of what we are doing. Congresswoman Barbara Lee, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it.